This is the seventh and final section of chapter 13 on integration and here we're looking at the area between curves and lines. So what we're talking about are finding uh, this type of area, this orange shaded bit here where you've got maybe a line at the top and a curve underneath and you can see they cross at these points here and these maybe become our limits or maybe where we have the curve at the top and a line at the bottom and again we've got a set of limits here but it's the area between them that we're interested in. Now in both of these examples I'm going to refer to the function or graph that forms the top of the region as f of x and the one that forms the bottom part of the region uh, g of x and I'm going to show you two different ways in which we can calculate this area here. So the first way that you could find this orange area here is to integrate the function that forms the top of the region between the two limits and then subtract the function integrated at the bottom of the function. If effectively what you're doing is finding the area underneath all of the top curve then subtracting the area underneath the bottom curve. So if we're looking at this one here this bit here would work out the area of this parallelogram, sorry not parallelogram, trapezium here, the whole area. This bit would work out this little area here, subtract one from the other, you get this bit. If we looked at this one here, this part, first part f of x would be finding this whole area under the red curve. Then we subtract the area, this trapezium underneath the blue line and then that will leave you with this area here. So this is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is actually to algebraically subtract the functions first, so the one at the top minus the one at the bottom, then integrate. So here we integrate, then subtract. Here we subtract, then integrate. Now I personally prefer this method because it means slightly less working, but it doesn't matter which way you do it. So either integrate the functions, then subtract the top minus the bottom, or subtract the top function minus the bottom function, then integrate. Either way is fine. Example 12, the diagram shows a sketch of a part of a curve with the equation x bracket four minus x and the line y equals x. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve and the line. So that's this yellow area here. So the first thing we need to do is to work out what the limits are. Now it looks like this limit is zero, but we need to find this limit here. So we need to solve simultaneously. So that means making x equal to x times four minus x. So we'll do that. So x equal to x times four minus x. Then we'll expand the brackets, so we'll have x equals 4x minus x squared. Then we'll move everything to the same size, so we've got x squared um, plus x minus 4x equals 0. So from there, we'll just write x squared minus 3x equals 0. That can be factorised, so we've got x and then x minus 3 equals 0. So that gives us the roots where these two equations cross. It's going to be x equals 0 and x equals 3. So I was right about this one here being x equals 0. Um, but this one here is the value of x equals 3. So that means that my limits for this area are the limits of 0 and 3. So I'm going to do this using the, the second method that I talked about, which is um, do the subtraction first and then the integration. So my limits are going to be 3 and 0. Then I want the equation at the top minus the equation at the bottom. So the equation at the top, that is x times by the 4 minus x. And I'm going to subtract from that the equation at the bottom, which is just x, y equals x. So it's just going to be x dx. So let's uh, work that out and see what we get before we actually go on to the integration. So here we will have 
4x minus x squared, 4x minus x squared, I'm taking away x, so that leaves me with 3x minus x squared, 3x minus x squared. Now we can integrate, so 3x becomes 3x squared over 2, 3x squared over 2, minus x cubed over 3, between the limits of 3 and 0. So now we can evaluate that. So we will have 3 times by 3 squared over 2, minus 3 cubed over 3, minus 3 times by 0 squared over 2, minus 0 cubed over 3. So obviously I can see that the second bracket is going to be 0. And the first bracket, if we work this out, that would be 27 over 2 minus 27 over 3 becomes 9 over 2. So you've got 9 over 2 minus 0 is just 9 over 2. So that's the shaded area. So can you see by doing the subtraction of the functions, then integrating, it's probably slightly quicker than doing two integrations. But you must remember that it's the function at the top minus the function at the bottom. So there's the function at the top here the x times 4 minus x minus the function at the bottom, do that algebraically, then it's just one integration rather than integrating 4 times or x times by 4 minus x, then subtracting an integration of x. Example 13, the diagram shows a sketch of a curve with equation y equals x times by x minus 3 and the line y equals 2x. Find the area of the shaded region OAC. So similar to the last one, I need to work out what these limits are. Now I'm guessing that this one is going to be zero. Um, I need to work out this one here. Now it's all above the axis, the area that I want. So we're just going to have to take a little bit of care about how we work out this one. Now this question, we can't just do the equation at the top minus the equation at the bottom. That's not going to work because we'll end up with this extra bit that we don't want. What we are going to do, however, though, is if we find this limit here, we can work out the area of the curve between A and B under the curve here and work out the area of this triangle. Subtract this and that gives us the yellow area. So if I was to do it as a diagram, I could put the area required is going to be this. The area of this triangle, like this, where this value is B here, and that's the origin there. Subtract the area under the curve where these two values are A and B. And then that will give us the area that we want, OK, because effectively you'll just be taking that bit away there. So that's how we're going to tackle this question. So we need to start by finding the values of A and B because they're going to be really important in tackling this question. So uh, to find the value of A, we need to find out where the Y equals X times by X minus 3 crosses the axis. Now it's roots are going to be 0 and 3, x equals 0, x equals 3. So that's the 0 there. So this must be the 3 here. So the coordinates of A are 3, 0. So that's really important. We also want to find the value of B. Now the value of B is where the curve and the line cross each other. So what we want to solve simultaneously are x times by x minus 3 equals 2x and that will give us both the points that they cross so I should expect one of the solutions should be zero right so from this we're going to expand the brackets put everything on one side so x squared minus 3x minus 2x equals zero so that's x squared minus 5x equals zero that factorizes to give us x times by x minus 5 so that gives me roots of x equals 0 x equals 5 
So x equals 0 is what I expect there. So that means that this value of x here is 5. So the coordinate b is 5, 0. Now we need one more coordinate, c, because if I'm going to find the area of this triangle here, I want to know its height. So I need to find that y value. Now to find that y value, I can just take the x value for b, which is 5, and put it into this equation or this equation. Either one, I should get the same answer, which will be 10. So if I put my x value of 5 into y equals 2x, y equals 2x, that will give y equal to 10. So that gives the coordinate of c as 5, 10. So let's just highlight those three co uh, coordinates because that's pretty much everything I need. So A, 3, 0, B, 5, 0, and C, 5, 10. So I'm going to start by finding the area of this triangle O, B, C. So area of triangle O, B, C is half the base times the height. Now the base goes from 0 to B, so the base is 5, times by the height of that triangle, or well, the height of the triangle is the Y value there, so it's 10. So half times by 5 times by 10, so the area of that triangle is 25. Now I want to find the area of this region here, ABC, and to do that, I want to integrate the curve between these limits and, uh, of A and B. So I'll just write down area of region ABC is going to be equal to between the limits of A and B, which is 5 and 3. 5 and 3. I want to integrate this curve, which is this, and that's x squared minus 3x. x squared minus 3x dx. So let's integrate that. So it'll be x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 between the limits of 5 and 3. So that will be 5 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 5 squared over 2 minus uh, that's 3, 3 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 3 squared over 2. OK, so working out on a calculator, that gives us 26 over 3. Right, so now we can go back to this and get the final area. So it's the area of the triangle, which was 25 minus the area of this region here, which was 26 over 3. And that gives us a final answer of 49 over 3. So that then is the area. So sometimes you do need to think carefully about how you're going to find these areas here. So often chopping it up to, into little pieces helps. So you should now be able to do exercise 13G on pages 304 to 306, then follow that by completing the mixed exercise.